Good morning, good morning, everyone. This is Misha with Connecting Kind. Let's see if I turn over this way. It is bright and sunny and beautiful, guys. I just brought you along today. We're doing some work out here in the garden, and I just wanted to bring you guys along and show you how everything is growing. Hope everybody is blessed on this wonderful day. Uh, moms, I know this is your day, but just know that you are a mother every single day. You're great every single day. Um, guys, please like and subscribe. Send us feedback and comments. And I'm going to go ahead and get this video started. I'm going to show you what James has got going on here in just a second. James, say good morning before you get started. Tell everybody what you're doing. Good morning. I'm drilling some holes, drainage, plasma drainage. Yeah, I, I told the the ladies. Oh, well, look, guys, he's making noise. <laughs> I told the ladies that their moms every day and they're beautiful every day, right? Was that it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> moms are beautiful every day, James. Yeah. All right. All right. So, what are you doing? I'm making drainage holes. Making drainage holes. Why? So the water can drain through the soil. For what? For my plants. What kind of plants? It's going to be a sweet potato. I'm going to put sweet potatoes in there. There you go. Okay. So let's look at what he's doing, guys. So he has his drill. And uh, basically what he's doing, show him, he's just got the the uh, bit, the bit that makes holes. And he's, yeah. And so what we're doing is we're taking this old container and we're going to recycle it and turn it into a bin for a sweet potato. So but this one giving my daughter because she want to do something for her. So. Oh yeah, yeah. This is gonna be for our daughter. She, um, we're gonna give her these uh, nice little uh, Charleston grains. Hang on, I wait to to he get finished drilling. But these are uh, some nice little Charleston grains that we grew from seed. We're gonna take these to my daughter's house and she's gonna have her um, her little watermelon garden. So we're gonna put those her <clears throat> watermelon in this um container right there so that's what we're doing there okay so guys we're gonna pause here and then we're gonna head back to the garden all right guys so move out of the way james all right so we're back here in the garden uh today uh i'm just gonna give you guys a tour first and show you how everything's growing um the greens are starting to come up because the 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 heat the sun has really been out and it's warm the temperature has gotten where it needs to be well, and germinate. yeah so you germinate. can see uh the little greens are still coming up james added a, a little more seed because he didn't think i put enough out this this one here is coming up but not as much they're not as big as those greens but you, you'll see the little ones starting to come up and everything so these are the two green beds this is how they're doing um, of course, these are the voluntary, um, these are the voluntary strawberries, and I'm actually going to move these guys, so I'm not doing much with those. Um, here are our four beefsteak, uh, tomatoes. They are doing absolutely wonderful. Okay. Let's go over here to the deck. Now, as you can see right here, I have, um, some plants and flowers that I'm going to put out today. We've got some zucchini squash, and we've got some crookneck heirloom squash there. I've got some moss type flower, and not quite sure what that, I think that might be a petunia, and there's some little yellow sunflower looking like plants. Uh, we're gonna put those out. Um, this is the, the yellow watermelon. They are beautiful, guys. Look how healthy those plants are. Then we come over here. We've got the zucchini. I believe this is zucchini. Let's make sure. Yep, zucchini squash. Look at those pretty plants. All right, and over here. Uh, let's see. I think these are zucchini squash as well. Yep, these are doing wonderful. And take a look at my yellow bell pepper. Look how beautiful those are. You find some worms, James? Okay, guys. Let's finish the tour. And I gotta be careful. We found a big old nasty snake last week or it's poisonous. So definitely gonna be careful. Okay, so here, so far, uh, the two bins of sweet potatoes. And this year I'm definitely gonna be picking my sweet potato leaves and, and cooking those as they grow. Um, but these are the two can containers of sweet potatoes. Yeah, we've got another bin. We're going to move that trash bin out of the way, so we'll have another one, but that's doing good. Um, baby container bed of... These are um, 
hang on guys let me think i lost my train of thought these are the purple hull peas purple hull peas are doing good um james pepper plants uh he's got habaneros won't be messing with these but they are looking beautiful big bed here look at those purple hull peas y'all look how beautiful how those are look at them all right awesome and then here i do believe i think this is another squash plant in this tire there's a squash plant that tire. i gotta go back and show you guys the um i gotta take you guys back and show you the uh, cucumber so this is the other bed that we planted of the uh, purple hull peas they have started to come up and you can see them popping up like popcorn our marigolds and look how big these uh Charleston these charleston grays plants the watermelons have gotten that's what we know look how big Charleston this is the biggest one right here it's absolutely beautiful pretty soon these things are going to go all the way down this levee and then there are marigolds down there okay so let's walk back down and i'm going to take you guys and show you um my uh I think I missed showing you the jalapeno plant too. Okay, so these are the jalapeno plants here that James planted. Those are looking beautiful. Now let's walk down the hill here and look at the cucumber patch. Got some poke salad over here around the tree, guys. Look at that poke salad. Y'all don't know nothing about that, do you? All right. All right, so take a look. So look how pretty uh, the, uh, cu the cucumbers are. So, um, where you gonna put that tire over there and try to the baby? Uh, the tire. Um, you got that tire. We're gonna have to put some veggies in there because uh, you don't have anywhere else to put them. So basically, what James is asking, what we're gonna do with um that tire over okay, there, and then we got a tire over there, and I think we're gonna go ahead and just put uh those uh, zucchini and the squash so okay guys so what's going to happen is as these little guys keep growing and they're kind of drooping a little bit because it's hot um i'm going to train them to to grow up this uh chicken wire fence here all right so we're going to come back up all right guys so i will take some um video along the way as we uh, put the flowers out oh i forgot to show you guys I'm now i'm trying to grow my tomatoes upside down okay and so what i did was i took an old planter and i've got my little plants growing i don't know if they're going to make it if they're not i'm going to put some um cherry tomatoes up top but yeah that's a new addition too i'm praying that it works um those are my tomato plants that i grew from seed and uh you know trying to get those to grow that way uh down here uh, where james is standing there's some voluntary blackberries down there and um his blueberry bush from last year and he needs to clean all those weeds from around there and he needs to put something around it uh to kind of separate it but okay guys so we're gonna pause for a minute i'm gonna go ahead and try to get some of these flowers out and then we'll come back and show you the finished product oh james said that's the herb that's called yellow dot yeah. let me zoom oh, he threw it down hold on let me zoom in but I won't tell people. yeah we can't tell you you know uh but, but we, do what, use it. We, we use it as a medicinal herb but you know yeah, you guys disclaimer i'm not telling you to grab the yellow dot james you threw it down they didn't get a chance to see what it looks like can you find it there it is laying right there look look right look over to your left My left, left down right there oh. okay i'm gonna let him show you what the yellow dot looks like so if you happen to see it show him the leaves so this is what the leaves look like see if i can step back now show him the root well the native americans used to use the leaves they could they used to make flowers when they turned brown yep the and seeds. then <laughs> and then this is what the uh hold on this is what the root looks like guys but it gets bigger than that though yeah much bigger but anyway if you want to google it it's called yellow dot and you can see what it's good for all right guys we'll be back all right guys oh man it is so hot excuse me but uh i know i look a hot mess but guys listen i've gotten finished with all i'm gonna do today i, I promise you i know it's got to be about 90 degrees but it's so hot 
but I finished with everything. James is uh, cutting the backyard. Just gonna show you guys uh, what I got planted. And I'm gonna go in the house, give me something cool to drink. Hey just guys. All right, so what I did was I borrowed <clears throat> one of my black containers like this, which you can see has a pretty red strawberry. So uh, a dear friend of mine that has passed on now, uh, Phineas, loved gardening. You know, he, he absolutely loved it. it, was relaxing for him. He's not here, he died last year. Um, but um, he gave me these strawberries and, and I've had them for some years. But what my goal is, is to find them a new home. So for right now, just trying to maintain them basically to keep them alive. So I borrowed one of the black containers um, to plant me some flowers. So this is what I ended up planting, okay? Uh, and I've got it here on the deck and it's beautiful it kind of adds some color and flavor to the deck um i'm not quite sure i think these are uh maybe like a petunia i think um and i'm not even sure what these were these plants were on clarence i got them i do know this is a flowering type moss type thing it's going to grow back so hopefully um it'll fill that pot up next year and be really pretty guys i am so sorry it's a bug steadily attacking me uh and that's why i'm fidgeting a lot but anywho we i uh, got that one planted with the flowers um over here got these pretty beauties uh planted and this is on the deck as well um got the uh last two tires planted got this one here and we're gonna water uh james gave it a little bit of water but because the sun is out so bright i don't like watering when the sun is out bright but this is the uh zucchini squash and that tire and let's go down here to the other one um and i'll show you that last tire so but the deck is coming together guys what do you think huh isn't it gonna be beautiful wait till those flowers start growing and getting big Okay, so, all right, so this is the other one, and I do believe that's the zucchini. So we got that planted. So all of the uh, tires are planted. <sighs> I, that's why I told him, I said, man, I am hot. Old Mr. Sweating, look at him, y'all. He's a king. But um, tell everybody bye, Jane, because we finna go in the house. It is hot. I gotta finish cutting. Oh, he gotta finish I'm going in the house, y'all. It's so hot. But um, as you can see, we still have a lot of soil over there some of that has to go to my daughter's house uh but uh i definitely got to get down there and clean around the uh tree but i'm trying to find me a place i have some mint that is growing up front and i want to bring it back here and find me a place to let it grow because you know mint uh yeah um guys i will before i finish this video i'm gonna go in the house and i'm gonna uh, show you the sweet potato slips and kind of explain to you how James does his but for right now uh, This is the deck. Those are the pretty flowers. I put my cabbage thing with it. No, no, no cabbage right there I'm, I'm talking about the container I'm about. I see James is trying to um, find a place. He wants to plant some cabbage So but as we you know, keep going guys, we'll be in touch guys please like subscribe give us feedback comment please share uh, tell us what you guys are doing in your neighborhood it's hot in mine and i'm about to melt and old mister's hot i gotta get me a hat guys or else you guys are not gonna be able to see me i'll be as black as the bottom of my shoe but okay so this is how everything is looking now mind you we still haven't put mulch out still haven't put mulch out so we plan on putting mulch out uh yeah, a little bit here yeah, a little bit here, a little bit there, you know, but overall, our little pathway here, uh, I feel like things are coming together beautifully. We'll come out and water later. I keep seeing some bubbles over there. I don't know if that's that beaver or what, but anyway, guys, um, yeah, we're going to work on the irrigation system, but I'm going to run in the house, uh, show a little footage of the uh, sweet potato slips and talk to you about that, and that'll be the end of the video for today. See you in a minute. Guys, one other thing before I go in the house. I forgot to tell you, remember the uh, pot of ginger that I told you about? You know, I bought some ginger at the grocery store, and it started to grow eyes. Well, look, guys. You see, we've got a one here. Uh, let's see. One there. One there. And I think it's another one that's hidden. It's one, two, three. Oh, there's a fourth one there. 
so uh this is the ginger so uh i haven't ever been really successful with ginger but we're gonna see how it works if you guys get ginger from the store and it starts to make eyes put it in the dirt because as you can see it will grow okay so let's go check on the sweet potato stuff right, so i have hey guys i have made it into the house oh and it's so cool oh thankfully okay so basically um and some people do their sweet potato slips different this is the way james will do them he just has a little little pan here and he cuts the sweet potato in half puts it in water and as you can see it will begin to grow the um the slips okay uh you can also take uh, skewers if you want to you know kind of make it a little bit fancier this year we were kind of lazy we just put it in there i've seen uh videos on tiktok where people just put their sweet potato in soil like an aluminum pan and grew the slips but this is how we do it uh it's been successful for us and um so you just put cut it in half or you probably could just put the whole thing in some water and then once the slips get so tall i'll say maybe about 12 inches um, you will take them and cut them off um, and then you can put them in some water and as you can see let's see if i can see you put them in the water and you can see the little white roots will begin to grow once you get a good root system then you transplant them to your soil and there you go you start making sweet potatoes so guys it's been lovely talking to you again this has been Misha with Connecting Kindly. She is so hot, so tired. Mothers, we love you. You appreciate all the hard work you do. Dads, we appreciate you too. But um, guys, please subscribe, like, send me feedback and comments. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. I'm going to go cool off. Bye.